Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss an example which will be about machine tool and coolant. So let's look at the example first. Machine tool coolant control. The coolant should activate when the machine tool starts and continue for 5 seconds after the tool stops. The machine tool will operate for 10 seconds with a break of 5 seconds. So for this example, we will use some normally open contacts and normally closed contacts. We will be also using some memory bits and timers like TP and T on. So let's move to TI portal where we will draw a ladder diagram for this example. This is the interface of TI portal. Firstly, we will go to PLC tags and then default tag table. So here we will add our inputs and outputs. The first input is start button and then we have some outputs. The first one is coolant. So this is an output so its address will be Q0.0 and then we have machine tool and its address will be Q0.1. So we have two outputs and one input. After that, I will double click on program uh, blocks and then main OB1. So here we will draw the ladder diagram. So I will zoom into it like this. So firstly, I will insert a normally open contact and a coils. This normally open contact will be used for the start button and the coil will be the machine tool. And this machine tool for 10 seconds. So there will be a timer operation used and that will be TP and the preset value for TP will be 10 seconds. And after that, the coolant will be used. I will open the branch and then add a coil. So this coil will be used for the coolant and this coolant will operate for 15 seconds. So for that, we will use a TP here and the preset value for TP will be 15 seconds. And after that, I will use network 2 and use a normally open contact for the start button. And then we will insert a coil that will be a memory bit M0.0. And this M0.0 the machine tool should operate for 40 seconds. And then the coolant will operate for 45 seconds. Because the coolant should operate even if the cool machine tool is off. So it will be on uh, for 5 seconds more. And then here this M0.0 will be used here. So this M0.0 gets on after every 10 seconds. So this will be uh, T on will be used here and the preset value will be 10 seconds. And then this M0.0 will be used here as normally close contact. So I will write the address as M0.0 and then this M0.0 will be used again. So we'll use network 3 where we will use a normally open contact and this normally open contact will be a start button and then here will be a coil and this coil will be one more memory bit let's say M0.1 and this M0.1 gets activated after 5 seconds. So there will be T on and the preset value will be 5, 5 seconds. And then it will get on when the coolant is off. So here we will use a normally closed contact and this will be coolant. And also we will use a normally closed contact and this will be M0.1. And this M0.1 will be used here for coolant here as normally close contact and this is M0.1 with that this M0.0 should get on 
when the machine tool is off. So this is machine tool. So what happens is that when start button is pressed, this machine tool gets on for 40 seconds. And then after 40 seconds, after 40 seconds, when Q0.0 .0 gets off, the coolant doesn't get off. When start button is turned on, both gets on, the machine tool gets on for 40 seconds and coolant for 45 seconds. With that, when machine tool gets off, when machine tool gets off, the current flows through this and this M0.0 .0 is also true in the uh, is also false in the beginning so the current will flow through this and this m0.0 .0 gets true after 10 seconds and after 10 seconds when this m0.0 .0 gets true this m0.0 .0 gets true the current will not flow through this and as a result this m0.0 .0 gets off and then so when this m0.0 .0 gets true here, we'll use a normally closed contact for M0.0. .0. So firstly, it gets true. It gets true. The current doesn't flow through this. And as a result, this gets true and this gets false. And as a result, this timer again starts after 10 seconds. So again, machine tool gets on for 40 seconds, then again gets off and then M0.0 .0 .0 gets true. Then it gets true, then it gets off and it gets off. And with that, this gets on and off, then again, making the machine tool to operate for 40 seconds. And with that, the coolant, the machine tool operates for 40 seconds, but coolant operates 50 seconds, 5 seconds more. That means 45 seconds. And then when this M0, uh, the, this start button is on and the coolant gets off after operating for 45 seconds, this M0.1 gets true for uh, after 5 seconds. And when it gets true, it gets through and it gets off and when it gets off then here this TP once again starts and the coolant gets on again. So I will start the simulation here. The process is autom automatic. The whole process is automatic and it will repeat this process again and again. So the machine tool will operate for 40-40 uh, seconds and then a break of 10 seconds will be there. 40 seconds on, click on load. 5 seconds, uh, 10 seconds off, 40 seconds on, 10 seconds off. And then for uh, the coolant, it will be on for 45 seconds, then off for 5 seconds, 45 seconds on, for uh, 10 seconds, 5 seconds off. I will start the CPU here and then start simulation. Start monitoring and after that, I will switch to project view. Let's create a new project. After that, I will go to simulation tables and then simulation table 1, right click here and load project tax. So here, when I turn on the start button, you can see here, when I turn on the start button, machine tool started working and it will work for 40 seconds and with that the coolant will also operate. So the machine tool will uh, turn off after 40 seconds but the coolant will be on for 5 seconds more. So after 40 seconds, machine tool gets off but the coolant gets on so m0.0 .0 gets to gets off and then with that machine tool again starts working but the coolant stopped for five seconds after that machine tool and coolant also got on 
and the machine tool will operate for 40 seconds and then will stop the coolant will continue for 5 seconds more and both will stop for 5 seconds and then again machine tool and coolant will work it was all about this example thank you for watching